Today, we're going to climax everything. I got my oil, I got my salt, and I have my wine ready with my sacrifice. It's going to be wonderful. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be great. Now, love you, Shida. God bless you. Mebelanan, God bless you. Samsung Anan, God bless you. Lauren Shajete, God bless you. Please share. Hey, Debbie, God bless you. God bless you, Debbie. God bless you. Please share, share. Ese se ye kutuno na ye da na si na ni mu na kwa jiwo Oh ese se ye kutuno na ye da na si na love ya bena sugar crash na ni mu Belinda na Coco Williams na kwa jiwo Please share. It's going to be delivering. It's going to be transformational. It's going to... Charles Benaman, God bless you. God bless you. Erica Samwa, God bless you. Today, it's going to be prayer, prayer. Then we climax it with our communion. We climax it with the anointing. We climax it with the salt. And then we give our sacrifice. And we see if God will not hear from heaven and answer us. Please wake somebody up share and bring somebody on board with somebody of my family on tiktok welcome welcome about welcome the lord is going to do great things you know the position of the keyboard most of the times makes me give you my jp but don't worry it is part of it okay my family on tiktok tiktok my family here we're gonna have a wonderful time just get your sec your first chronicles the chapter number four down we're talking about dealing with ancient foundations or ancient authors you're watching me live from uk i try a boy god bless you god bless you commander aqua god bless you patrick akoto god bless you patricia akoto god bless you god bless you god bless you hola joanna ketal jojo good to see you here we are dealing with ancient or ancestral foundations or altars and it's going to be dangerous today please share share and make sure you log in on First Chronicles, the chapter number four, the verse nine and ten. First Chronicles chapter four, verses nine and ten. Please keep sharing. Get your oil ready, get your salt ready, and get your sacrifice and get your communion wine ready. Get it all ready. Hey, Dollar Man, how are you doing? Charlie. In Germany, your turn. Royal Jack, God bless you. Now, Shokokwan Safo, God bless you. I'm part of the late texting. God bless you. First Chronicles, the chapter number four, nine and ten. And please get your communion wine ready. Get your anointing oil ready. Get your salt ready. And get your sacrifice ready. We will pray according to these symbols. Are you hearing me? We will pray according to these symbols and deal with every ancient altar, every ancient foundation that has been troubling us. You will work hard when it is time for promotion. Then they will promote the one who didn't do the work whilst you are seated at one place. It must change. Hey, Rosal, how are you doing? It's been a while. She. You are blessed, my daughter. God bless you. God bless you. Rosemary Kwame, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Obede, I know he's sitting right in front of me, my technical man. So if you're not, I know you just came here to check whether he's here. He's sitting in front of me, my technical man. So don't worry, eh? Don't worry at all. 
Manyesta, fear not. <laughs> oh Lord, we thank you. Sarana, God bless you. Maradush, Kebra Dabaya. Munda lo kebri de bazutaya. Charlie Courts, God bless you. Naman Kwanu Ashley, God bless you. Ajua Wilson, God bless you. Please share. Please share. Cecilia Mankwa, God bless you. Robert G. Black, God bless you. Blessing Priscilla Williams, God bless you. Nalam Lelamte, God bless you. Finally, you are here. Oh. God bless you now. You missed it. Mommy, <laughs> mommy is meditating at department as an all night and you know she's preparing. God bless you. Uh, uh, hey, for Godwin, more fire, more fire, more fire, more fire. Tomorrow will be cataclysmic and corrosive. But tonight we are dealing with ancient altars. Abibi, God bless you. Listen to me. I have come to the place of realizing that nothing happens for nothing. Anything that happens, happens for a reason, a purpose, and on a mission. Benevolent Nandi, God bless you for joining. God bless you. I say it again. Nothing happens for nothing. Anything that happens, happens for a reason, happens for a purpose, and on a mission. If you don't take a look at it for a second time, you will end up realizing that it is your blessing that was taken away when that thing was happening. Prince Zumba, Prince Otu, Francis Otu, Cecilia Mankwa, God bless you. Mao Pamo Osei, God bless you. Anita Lamte, Pamo, God bless you. Egladisi, Gifti Adua, God bless you. Now, Choy Mensa, God bless you. Hey, Adupo, let me see you on Sunday. Esia, Godwin. Jagban of Achochi Koshirabel, Melgin, seriously. Blessing Priscilla Wesley Williams, God bless you. Mary Makiba, God bless you. Nania, God bless you. God bless you. How is Sunyai? Nania, how is Sunyai? And hey, get Bishop a pizza for me, okay? I called him on his birthday, but I realized he was kind of busy, so he didn't pick. So Nania, please, my greetings to all. The family of well of salvation. Greetings to them. God bless you. God bless you. Wizzy the dawn. I challenge you. Wizzy the dawn. Please share, share. And make sure you log in to First Chronicles, the chapter number 4, verse 9 and 10. Mavis, Ajao, see me on Sunday. You too, see me on Sunday. Please share. Jojo, you are blessed, okay? Mark Bright, eminent, God bless you. God bless you. Please share. Abigail Aniabe, God bless you. God bless you. Gifty Adwa, God bless you. Mark Bright, eminent, God bless you. Jemima Braille, tell you, God bless you. Mr. Lincoln, God bless you. Look at your face. Buddy, God bless you. You are calling your sisters, eh? They are sleeping, eh? You better go and wake them up. Now the Lord God bless you. Please share, share. We'll be zooming in. Yama wa mo yeswe, yama wa mo mezaya. Ekuni di oni eguradi. Yama wa mo yeswe, yama wa mo mezaya. Ekuni di. What you don't fight will rule you. 
What you don't defeat will defeat you. What you do not claim, you will lose. I say it. Hear me. In life, it's about battles. It's about principles. It's about process. If you don't understand these three things, you will end up serving for the rest of your life. How can a prince walk barefoot whilst a slave is riding on horseback? Can I say again? The same book says there is an arrow under the sun. A prince walking barefoot and a slave riding on horseback. Isn't it strange? The prince will walk barefoot because he does not know he is a prince. He doesn't know the horse belongs to him. The fact that you are alive does not mean that is all. There is a difference between being alive and living. That is why God is not the alive God, but the living God. Living makes it eternal. You can be alive today and die tomorrow. But when you are a living being, you are eternal. He is a living God, not a dead God. Think about it. It's about time we go into scripture. Now watch it. Now, remember I gave you some things to look out for. The first one, you must be born again, which I know you already are. The second one is check the trajectory. What is it that has been happening? Ha. Huh. And you will discover that the trend keeps repeating itself. From Tuesday, I remember also telling you that the spirit behind the ancient foundation will always go for the savior or the redeemer of the family. You see how they went after Jesus because he came to redeem us the same way they, will, they have been going after you. But Jesus followed the principles and he overcame. If you do not follow the principles, you will be broken. Oh yeah, you will be broken. Your mother brought something home in search of a child. Your father inherited something from the grandfather. Your uncle brought something home. And all these things are foundations. Let me tell you something. I always say this always, but today I will not say it. I'll just brush the surface. Do you really know the family you come from? Do you know the history of your family? You think being born again, speaking in tongues, then yes, you are victorious. Huh? Was Peter not working with Jesus? This one you will break your, you, it, it will blow your mind. Was he not working with Jesus? Was the mother-in-law not sick? So, being born again, tongue speaking, Bible possessor, does not make you free. Can I say it again? It does not set you free from ancestral altars and foundations until you apply. You cannot build a new structure on an old foundation unless you destroy the old foundation. That is why he says, if the foundation be destroyed, the righteous cannot do anything. Peter was so close to Jesus, yet his mother-in-law, which tells me that Peter was married. <laughs> Peter had wife and children. Peter was so close to God, yet ancestral things couldn't protect the mother-in-law. Don't joke with it. You need to uproot. You need to demolish. You need to destroy the ancestral foundation. The foundation that existed before your grandfather, your father, and yourself were born. You need to destroy them. If you do not, hear me, family. If you do not, you will end up living a mediocre life. Instead of being a king, you will be the servant of the king. And you will celebrate that position. Forgetting where the king is seated is yours. If you are not able to deal with ancient foundations... You will serve the one who must serve you.
And many a time, you end up blaming your mother, blaming your father or your grandparents. And these days, it is so common that the lazy ones, so to speak, will find every grandmother a witch. Let me tell, let me show you something. Ziba was not born, sorry, Mephibosheth was not born a cripple. But his servant, in her desperation to save him, he fell and became a cripple. Most of us were dedicated to shrines by our parents because children were dying. They did not understand the works of the devil by then. Children were dying. So this very one cannot die. Let me go and hide it in that ancient foundation. The child didn't know anything. But the spirit does not care. Let me read something in Ezekiel 18. We read it last Wednesday. And we are reading it today too. Ezekiel the chapter number 18. Noah cursed his son. It was the grandchildren who rather were suffering. These days people even say that that son to Noah cursed the descendants are Africans, black Africans. Huh? Ezekiel chapter 18. The verse 1, it says, The word of the Lord came unto me again, saying, Please share. Please share. I'm pleading. Please share. Somebody needs to hear this and be set free. Brenda, God bless you for joining us. Debbie, God, your sister is on board. I'm waiting for your other sister to also join. Listen, somebody needs to catch this revelation. Hey, Apostle Carr, God bless you. I hope the family are catching me live. Listen to me. Our parents in their desperation to have children covenanted with altars, with shrines, with powers they don't know the bargaining chip. To them, they thought by sending a goat or a fowl or whatever, then they have saved the children. But what they don't know was that they were establishing and building a foundation that will continue to disturb the children because you have willingly handed over. Watch it. When we willingly handed ourselves over to the enemy in the garden, God had to come and sacrifice. Oh, we will get there. If getting your freedom is for free, the death on the cross wouldn't have been necessary. Don't let the world deceive you. Nothing is for free. Your salvation came to you by an exchange. Something was taken and the salvation was given to you. Are you hearing me? So don't just sit down and let the new order of preaching the gospel make you sit and not take the right. Let me tell you something. Those who are speaking against it are performing their sacrifices secretly. They will tell you not to and you still remain the same. Whilst they are doing it and they keep growing, so you remain a servant perpetually and they remain bosses. But I came to tell you something. Even Jesus, he himself was a sacrifice. Couldn't he save us? He was teaching us the mystery. What you don't sacrifice for, you cannot claim ownership of. So sacrifice is very, very important in our journey as believers. Abraham sacrificed the fattest of his lamb and finally Isaac was prophesied and Isaac came. Isaac came, did say. Jacob did say. And you are telling me that oh, it is one on the cross. Go ahead. One on the cross. You only preach one on the cross after you have broken the curse. 
and you are free. And you are not helping those who are still under the curse to be free. Strange world, in it? Strange world. They don't want you to break through. So they will still break through and keep handing you chicken chips. He says, verse 2, What mean ye that ye use this proverb concerning the land of Israel? I'm reading Ezekiel, the chapter number 18, the verse 1, 2, 4. He says, The fathers have eaten sour grapes, and the children's teeth are set on edge. As I live, said the Lord God, you shall not have occasion anymore to use this proverb in Israel. That was the beginning of the stoppage. Verse 4, Behold, all souls are mine. The soul as the, of the father, so also the soul of the sons is mine. The soul that sinneth, it shall die. Here, I discovered that we have something to do. We have something to do to send it back. They are dead and gone. They are dead and gone. Mama G, you and your daughter, be careful on board. Are you hearing me? So when it comes, oh my God. My son, get me my salt and my wine quickly. Bring it to me. We are coming to pray. I have my oil here. My son is bringing me my salt. The Bible says we are the salt of the earth. Can I tell you something? Salt is a preservative. Salt reveals taste. Salt is a fortifier. Salt is a corrosive chemical. So salt can corrode at the same time it can what? Preserve. Depending on the condition under which you put it. At the same time, salt can let a thing decay. Get, listen, you, you, in all you're getting, get understanding. Say, my people perish for lack of understanding. So he says, Ezekiel, don't ever allow the sins of the fathers to be paid by the sons. Why should I repeat the behavior of my father? If I don't stop it now, my children will repeat. It will transfer itself into my children. I told you on Tuesday, how Abraham couldn't resist fair women though they were barren. How Isaac couldn't resist fair Rebecca though she was barren. How Jacob couldn't resist fair Rahel though she was barren. Even when God gave Jacob a dark woman so to speak to break the generational curse. He still, because it's a black thing, he still went for it. No problem. I have my wine here. I have my oil here. I am waiting for my mopobis. Listen to me. I am a living proof of what we call ancestral foundations. Ancestral foundations. And let me tell you something. Don't look down on somebody who is breaking things to come up if yours were broken by your fathers are you hearing me never look down on somebody who has a lot to break through now because of the foundation laid by fathers never look down on such persons when they break through the speed with which they rise you will hate them for nothing please share please share Please share. I'm serious. Because let me tell you, sometimes it is not financial, but health. By age 60, you begin to go through. Hey, Nana Berma Babewa, please. I don't know your schedule, but tomorrow, call me around 2 p.m., okay? Listen to me. Sometimes at old age, you develop a particular disease that was also in your... If medicine can tell you that some sicknesses are gen, genetic or hereditary, then you should know. Then you should know. Nathaniel Abam, God, Abam, God bless you. Then you should know. Please share. And this is not... 
showing how eloquent and theologically uh, deep you are. I told you that me, I don't preach messages I have not experienced. Because when I take the Bible, I don't look for a message to preach. I look for a God with a message for his people. And I present myself as a messenger. Because he only keeps word over his word. So if I am coming with his word, then he will keep watch over it. And signs and wonders will follow the word. Please, wake somebody up. It is not late yet. Call somebody on board. God bless you. Please, bring somebody on board. I don't know why my heart is, 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 is so much into this. Most of us are suffering through no fault of ours. But our ignorance is making it difficult for us to set ourselves free. If you have your salt, your wine, and your, your, your oil, and your sacrifice ready, give me a thumbs up. Because we are about to zoom into prayer right now. If your elements are ready, give me a thumbs up. Jesus. Huh? Oh, Lord, help me. Look, this is not something to joke with. If you don't reject the foundation, you will build upon it. And watch it. The life wire, the strength, and the power of the building is dependent on the foundation. So your two load and your everything is dependent on the foundation. If you don't break the evil foundation, you are building an evil structure. I like the thumbs up. If if your elements are ready, give me a thumbs up. Abdul Kasim, you watching me, my prodigal son. Find time and come, oh, Kasim. God bless you. I love your thumbs up. Please get your elements. I am more concerned about that because hear me. You cannot break a building without having a sledgehammer. You need a hammer. Every mission and its equipment. What you are embarking on determines a necessary equipment. You need the, part the particular material to be able to do what you want to do. I love the thumbs up. Listen to me. This is no joke and this is not the time for you to say, Oh, ya tiabre, koswa na tiabre, wasasa, nyo nua huwe tobwe, anyo chake lo. It is only in his time that he makes all things beautiful. Still, you don't understand what pushed you to this channel. My daughter Debbie from Trinidad and Tobago, she doesn't know me from Adam. At her lowest point, she was flipping through YouTube and then back, coming this slim, tall, lanky, to no boy. She said, let me hold on. And the very thing she was going through was exactly what I was dealing with. From that day, her life has never been the same again. You may be close to me in the church auditorium, but you are so familiar. She is far away in Trinidad and Tobago, obeying every word of God, and things are happening for her. Do not joke. This is your time. This is your time. I'm not talking only about Debbie. I have others. All the way to New Zealand, close to Papua New Guinea, New Zealand. That is where Another gentleman who is not a Ghanaian, but a Cameroonian. Oh yeah, a Cameroonian whose family was going through hell. A well-educated man flew to Australia, continued to New Zealand, only for things to start going bad for him. What hasn't he done? He was also flipping through YouTube and came across this man Slim, lanky, so loud. I said, let me listen to him. That was the beginning. So it is only in God's time that things are made beautiful. Now, it can be in God's time, but when you are not strategically positioned and equipped with the necessary gadgets, it is in God's time, but you are not ready. That is why the Spirit will say to Peter, dress up, dress up. 
dress up, get your elements ready. I have my salt, I have my oil, I have my wine, and I have my sacrifice. Me, my sacrifice, I have it raw here. I have all my sacrifice here intact. I have my sacrifice here intact. And I'm not joking with it. Because when it comes to such things, I practice what I preach. Now that we have read Ezekiel 18, let's go now to First Chronicles, then we will take off with our prayers. If you are here watching, please share, share. Wake somebody up. My darling, your husband is outside. Uh, oh, Nanabla, you have kept your testimony, eh? You want to share it when you come to Ghana. God bless you. God bless you. Listen, even here, here in Ghana, a lady came to me with a problem. I looked at her and I said, my darling, go back home. Open your wardrobe. Pick your best cloth that you have not taken to the designer yet. Wrap it. Add some money to it. Go to church. Look for an elderly woman. Give it to her and ask her to pray for you. She looked at me strangely. You know why? Because she's hurt so much. And it is affecting her faith. But like Peter, at thy word, that's what she said. After two, three months, I wasn't seeing her. And watch, this is a lady that just a month to her wedding, the man to be says, sorry, this marriage cannot go ahead. This wedding cannot go on. And she happened to be the second in the mother's children. The brother did the same thing to another lady and the same thing was done to her sister. Oh, Samuel's auntie. Oh, of course now. Eh? Apostle Carl, you, 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 you and your wife's testimony are my best testimony. <laughs> now you, we have two girls, right? We bless God for that. After two, three months, I didn't see the lady. Fourth month, I didn't see her. The fifth month, I was in the office when my secretary told me, Daddy, there is a gentleman and a pregnant woman looking for you. I said, I am. Hey, Obi, finally you are here because I was waiting to see you. Matthew Akokoli, God bless you for being here. Now listen carefully. Nashley, how are you doing? You also have a testimony. As for testimonies, don't worry. After tonight's prayer, Monday, we are zooming into another topic. And that one, I will make room for testimonies. They walked in and there was this lady. Guess what? When she went and obeyed the instruction, what she did was a sacrifice. You Listen, you don't know why our brothers and sisters in Islam don't joke with sacrifices. You don't know why. So, they walked and said, hey, where have you been? She said, daddy, forgive me, oh daddy. Let me hear them. She said, daddy, you told me to go do this thing on a Thursday. I didn't do it for about two weeks. And the more I stayed disobedient, the further my husband was going. Then one night, you appeared in my dream. Please oh, don't think like others. You appeared in my dream and you warned me that I should go do it if I want to be happy. I woke up the next morning, which was a Sunday morning, wrapped it, went to church, and there is this elderly woman who always called her Meba. So she went to the woman, gave the gift to the woman, and added money. And the woman said, Mami, mom, paye mom. She knelt. The only thing the woman said to her was, Eradimbia wadia kwaimau. That's all. The man who left her happened to be the man next. She said after she did that, exactly three days, the gentleman came back and said, I don't know what was happening to me. It is you I want to marry. Can we do it? Pa, pa, pa. Within one month, they were prepared. Second month, they were married. The guy, no way to cry. They married. No, pa, pa, pa. It will make you a whore. Obedience. Listen to me. All of us are suffering from one ancient altar or the other. Some 
it is health. Some, it is finance. Some, it is spiritual. Just what, let me tell you something. Men will love you and do everything for you. The very moment you mention marriage, bah, they have disappeared. Check the trajectory. Check. The waters of Mara were bitter. And if you check scripture, something caused the waters to be bitter. In future, when the same people who did it for the waters to be bitter, their generation appeared. The bitterness was the, of the water was affecting them, making their women barren. And he said, bring me a brand new bowl and salt like I have here in my hands. TikTok. I have here, have here. Bring me a brand new bowl with salt. And the Bible says, has the Lord not blessed these waters? Just when the salt touched the ancient altar of bitterness and barrenness, the Bible says the water was healed today in the name of Jesus. Any ancient altar that has existed, sitting on your progress, sitting on your fruitfulness, sitting on your health, sitting on your joy, as this salt touches it, it will break loose, it will break loose, it will break loose in the name of Jesus. Your freedom, your liberty, your peace and joy is in tonight. Not in my hands, but your obedience to what the scripture will say. May the Lord anoint these elements that we are using as symbols. And may the application of them bring liberty, bring healing, bring joy, bring breakthrough, bring restoration, bring laughter, bring fruitfulness, bring laughter, bring multiplication. In Jesus' mighty name, you will not be the same after tonight. I say you will not be the same after tonight. I speak prophetically over your life. Whatever it is that has been stopped, that has been truncated, that has been shattered, that has been broken by any ancestral foundation or altar, may they bow to the voice of Yeshua. May they bow to the blood of Jesus. May they bow to the authority of heaven. And I prophesy over your life. Same time next week, beginning now. May you be amongst the thousands that will share their testimonies. You didn't say amen to that. I said same time next week. May you be among the thousands that will share their testimony in the name of Jesus. Your marriage, it will come on. Your business, it will rise again. Your investment will not go waste. Hey, listen to me. Ancestral altars can bring people around you who are only agents of destruction. So now, First Chronicles, the chapter number four. Oh, Jesus, I want to pray now. Do you have your elements? We are beginning with the salt. And then we will go next to the oil. After the oil, we will go to the communion wine. And then we will go to the sacrifice. And I am out of this place. I will not talk long. But please share. Bring somebody on board. Bring some. Ado, Sheikh Obranda Lama. Miranda Ikebolabo de Zotaya. Any altar. Let me tell you something. When altars are very old, family become used to it. And even the family will fight the one who wants to change it. Huh. Can I say it again? When the influence of the ancestral and ancient altars, when the spirit takes control for a long time, Family begins to accept that say neke no mo bowo neke san woyale e won na kan blame akpa no acha my darling reject it. Do you know why Jesus rejected his family when they came? Many have preached different messages. I'm also preaching mine. He said these ones are my family, not that one. Sometimes to break the ancestral foundation, you have to reject the family. When you break through, they will then believe in your steps. 
Don't stand in and break it. Step of Jesus. This one I wanted to say it on Sunday. If you stand in, they will drown you. David was not home and God chose him. He was out. God chose him, brought him to show him up to the family. Don't stand in and break. Stand out. And when you finish, you come in to show them because hear me. If you are in, you will still be under the influence. That is why you have to be born again. Born again. When you are born again, then you stand the chance of dealing with it. So he says, And Jabez was more honorable than his brethren, but the mother laid a foundation because of her experience. I told you earlier on, that most of these foundations were laid based on the experiences of our forefathers at that time. Their time, what was happening is not the same as now. Are you hearing me? So we can't be controlled by an ancient God and I mean brought into the family by people who are not living now. Brenda, God bless you for coming. I was waiting for you to join Debbie and your sister. Are you hearing me? Our forefathers were having an experience then. Hence, their encounter and their introduction of those ancient spirits into their bloodline. But they are not living now. And they never knew that this would be the situation under which we will live. They never knew we would be driving cars. They never knew we would be flying aeroplanes. They never knew all this, yet they entered into covenant with those spirits. Let me share a story with you. This professor was so brilliant, and he applied to be a lecturer in a top university in the UK. Let's say he applied in 1971. They accepted him and forwarded his letter of appointment and everything. The letter never got to the man. The man became so poor and useless. One day, a man of God came to do crusade in their area. And he went there. Then the man of God was like, you are a great man. What is the problem? In prayer, the man of God said, go back to your village. Go and see your sister and ask her why you are not progressing in anything. The next day, he went to the village. Now hear it. When he got to the village, the senior sister said, when you were a child, mama and papa took you to some juju man across the river to tell them about your future. And the juju man said, when you grow up, you will travel all over the world. The father said, Mbano. The mother said, Tufiakwa. Mbebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebeb
they came back to their capital. Two weeks later, hear this strange thing. Two weeks later, the letter that was released to him in 1975 arrived in 2001. Too late. If you do not follow these principles, ancient altars are so powerful that you need a higher power to deal with it. Yes, wickedness. But the parents did it out of ignorance. They did not know that their child traveling all over the world means he is becoming a blessing. And they planted a tree on his destiny so he should remain. A 1975 letter of appointment arrived in 2000. How many years? 75, 85, 10 years, 95, 20 years. So 25 years. The office itself is gone. Can I tell you something? Today, here we are. He says, Jabez was more honorable than everybody, but the mother laid a foundation of suffering. And for your information, Jabez suffered till this time when it was being written. The foundation brought him suffering till this time. Don't joke. Whatever you are going through today has a foundation. And if you don't break the foundation, you will keep building in favor of that foundation. Then, and Jabez called on the Lord God of Israel, saying, Oh, that thou would bless me. You remember the first one I gave you yesterday? Speak positive things and have a good heart. Speak positive things. If you are watching me on TikTok after tonight, speak positive things and always have a good heart. Can I say it well? Speak positive things and wear a good heart. And God bless me indeed. Two, enlarge my coast. Three, and that your hand will be with me. Four, and that you will keep me from evil. Five, that I may not grieve me. And God granted him that which he requested. And when you read through scripture, this story about Jabez is just two verses. Why did God interrupt what was going on in the book of Chronicles, the chapter number 1, 2, 3, and 4, and bring this one? What it means is that something has to be done before the continuation will be perfect. A foundation has to be dealt with. If you are watching with somebody, can you tell the person, of oh, you now speak positive things. It is about time you begin to speak positive, declare positive, and say positive. Now, take your salt. Just a little of it. But I'll tell you what to do with the rest. Take a little of it like I have in my hand. Marabo de Jose Cobado Dayada. Randesh Kebalo Labada Oh Jesus, Father, we exalt you. Marude Kapayakaba. Take your salt. Rabe de de Boja Sotaya. Cabran de Limeaka. Come and see my family. Everybody is salted. Everybody is holding their salt. Some are even fighting over the salt. Mando Shapaya. Only get your salt. We are coming to pray. Foundation that has caused the waters of your land. Remember, water is life. 75% of the earth is water. 75% of you is made up of liquid water. Huh. Oh Jesus. Radosh Kabayadada. Take your salt. We are coming to pray. Just take a little first. You are coming to apply it. Raboya. And because ancient authors. Because ancient authors are backed by spirits. Words are spirits. Most of the times, the thing we say fuel the ancient author, the spirit backing it. Say after me, my father, my maker, Rabadoshaya, today I change the chemical composition of this salt into the word of Yeshua. As I pray, I turn it into the ancient altar breaker. I turn it into the destroyer of every 
ancestral demonic influence over my life, uh, any ancestral bitterness that I, have, I inherited, any ancestral shame that I inherited, any ancestral failure that I inherited, any ancestral setback that I inherited, like it happened to the waters of Mara, Lord, tonight, by my prayer, let the waters in my life, let the waters in my business, the waters in my ministry, the waters in my marriage, be healed, be healed, I break ancient altars, ancient foundations, be broken, be broken, be broken, be broken, lift your voice and begin to pray, hold your salt, lift it up and pray, I am born of the blood, I am born of the blood, I am born of the blood, no ancestral foundation, no ancestral altar will have authority again, will have influence again, I disconnect, I break, I demolish, I uproot, I destroy every influence of every ancient altar, lose your hold, be scattered, lift thyself all ye gates, Irado Shapaha, Mandelebaya, destroy it. Pray. In the mighty name of Jesus. Now I decree and declare. Oh Jesus, something is happening. Rabala Bado Sheko Hadabaya. Mirandesh Kapaha Kato Shabaya. Yes. Anything that ever tasted bitter in your mouth and in your life, instead of tasting sweet, but because of the influence of ancestral foundations, ancient authors, you never know joy. Today, it will die by fire. It will break by fire. It will crash by fire. We shall decree a thing. And it shall be established. Father, in the name of Jesus, by the ocean of being born again and the efficacy of your word and blood in our lives, as we apply this sword in our lives, on our lives and our dwellings, let it go deep down the earth. Let it trace the altars we don't even know where they are. And let those altars be uprooted. Let them be broken. Lord, that which destroyed my father will not destroy me. Amen. Huh? I'm boiling up. That which destroyed my mother will not destroy me. That which destroys the family will not destroy me. I disconnect, I destroy, I uproot, I demolish every ancient foundation and altar. And I come before you, Lord, with the salt. Let the application of it bring victory to my generation, even to the second, third, and fourth generation. I call it done. Altars speak. Through the tongue. Amen. Ah. <laughs> you may be speaking the language of that altar that you don't know. Some of those languages are, hey, when will I break through? As for our family, this is how we are. We struggle, we suffer. After this salt touching your tongue, you will speak the language of the new covenant. Amen. The language of deliverance. The language of restoration. The language of healing. The language of breakthrough. The language of fruitfulness. The language of greatness and success. Your legacy will be remembered constantly. From today, he says, behold, I do a new thing. Shall you not see it? I heal your waters of Mara in the name of Jesus. Every ancestral stronghold that has militated against you, Every ancestral altar that has militated against you, I break it. I crash it into pieces. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Now, apply the salt on your tongue and a little on your forehead. You meet some people when they are coming from their shrines. You see signs on their forehead. And you call them ritualists and juju people. You are marked. <laughs> it is a mark. You are not hearing me. It is a mark that announces to those kinds of spirit whose they are. Oh Lord help me. Everybody gets up and is criticizing what Christians do. And we are so quiet. Meanwhile what they do was supposed to be ours. 
Now take your oil. My God, I love this. Rado Shapayaka. Come and see them. They are coming to fight me over my oil. It is not possible. Those of you who are asking, where is mommy? Please, she's finished. She's here. Your language can fuel the altar. The altar, the older the altar, the better the language of the family in favor of the spirit behind it. When the man who was lying by the well, the pool of Bethesda, am I right? Yes. When Jesus met him and said, what do you want me to do for you? The man kept saying that I have no but That has been the language. Mm -hmm. The language of the altar has been, you will never find anybody. Mm -hmm. Nobody will love you. Nobody will show you love. Nobody will show you kindness. Nobody will bless you. So you can see that when people make promises that they will do things for you, they will start and leave in the middle. It stops in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. People will come your way and you know these people love me. Within a twinkle of an eye, you don't know what happens. And then bah, they stop helping you. They stop. You, you didn't do anything. Then they begin to hate you without reason. Jesus, you people stop fighting me over my soul. Too. Now the oil, they are coming. Please, please. If you are watching, plead for on my behalf. They are attacking me and taking my oil from me. Which is bad. Hallelujah. I have my oil and I wish I could turn the camera for you to see their faces. Hallelujah. But my joy is that the whole family where is madam? Listen to me. Mommy is here. You are bombarding me. Where is mommy? Where is mommy? Please, come, come here. Mommy is here. She is here. Can I tell you something? If God has called me, in less than seven days, some of you, yours begins now. Amen. Your testimony, Debbie, hear me. That curse is broken in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. That load is lifted off in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The yokes are broken in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Every ancient altar, every ancient altar, every ancient altar, get off, be shattered, be broken, be scattered, be scattered, be scattered. Amen. Now lift your oil up. Father, I change. Where is I change the chemical composition of this oil? Let the application of it connect us to the new covenant, Amen. connect us to the new altar, Amen. connect us to the new. Let me tell you something as you follow, God will follow you, Amen. <laughs> as you obey, God will obey you, Amen. as you respond, God will respond to you. Amen. As you shout amen, God will bring it to pass for you. Amen. Are you hearing me? Now lift your oil. Madabo, it says, For by the anointing, the yokes are broken, they are shattered. Amen. Every yoke of ancestral altar. Jesus. You are not hearing me. <laughs> Listen, this salt dealt with the genealogy, mm. with the chronology. Mm. It's dealt with the age mm. of, the, or, or, of the case. Listen to me. There is a family. Recently, I watched it on one of the TV stations. The whole family are blind. I also discovered there is a village in Ghana here. Almost 90% of the people in the village are blind. Jesus. They are all blind. Another family of six. Five out of the six children are cripples. Why could it be that somebody from there did something and an altar of curses was raised that nobody from that bloodline should ever walk? Whatever anybody said out of pain and anger against my ancestry, your ancestry, our ancestry, that is being worked and it is achieving its aim. Today, we declare peace be still. We stop it. We stop it. We stop it. Amen. I'm getting angry. Say, my father, my maker, this 
morning, I, Abraham Lampe, as I clap and pray, any yoke from my ancestry, any burden from my ancestry, any curse from my ancestry, any altar from my ancestry, commanded to work against me by the oil, I break it, I break it, I break it, shout break three times. Ah, Jesus, your name that has been captured in that altar. Mm. Release now in Jesus' name. Amen. Your destiny, anything of yours, by your ancestry, because their blood runs through you. And whatever blood they dropped at that shrine mm. is you. Today, let the blood of Jesus invade that camp. Amen. I demand a recovery mission right Amen. now. Right now, Amen. right now, Amen. right now, Amen. right now, Amen. right now. Amen. You will not die like your mother died. Amen. You will not inherit your father's shame and disgrace. Amen. You will not inherit your father's poverty. Amen. You will not inherit your father's failures. Amen. Father, in the lift your oil up. Oh Lord, I change the chemical composition of this oil. From today, you will be too oiled to toil. Oh, I'm suspecting your amen. I said from today, you will be too oiled to toil. You will be too blessed to walk in curses. You will be too graced to be disgraced. You will be too high to be brought low. Can I tell you something? I said, as a parent, when you discover the formula, of stopping the influence of ancient altars. Mm. Hand it over to your children. Mm. Else the spirit will come again. Mm. Father, in the name of Jesus, Rabadaya, can we begin to pray? We are saying with this oil, we break the influence of every ancient altar. We break the influence of every ancestral altar. Right now, right now, right now, right now. Let the oil, oh God. Let the oil, oh God. Listen to me. There was a soul who has been anointed, but the oil upon David made a difference. Lord, by this oil, let us make differences. By this oil, let there be a difference. By this oil, let old altars be broken. Old altars be crushed. Old foundation be broken. Old foundation be crushed. Any old foundation containing our names, our DNAs, the DNAs of our children, our future, our joy, our laughter, and by the covenant we should not enjoy by this oil we break it we break it we break it we liberate ourselves anoint your head three times one second two third three mommy please anoint them for me you also have oil take anoint all the children my whole family is here so I'm not asking you to do something that my family is not following and I have a large family, if you care to know. My name is Abraham. I see your enemies already crying. Amen. And let me tell you something. When ancient authors are functioning, they have spectators. They have their own spectators who will come and sit at the football park to watch what is happening. From today, you will disappoint them. I say you will disappoint them. I say you will disappoint them. Oh, your amen is dead. I say you will disappoint them. Amen. Just when they expect you to stay unmarried, that is when your marriage will come through great. Amen. Debbie, don't worry. When you come, I will anoint you and anoint you and over anoint you. Are you hearing me? Oh, I love this. I love this. I love this. From today, I prophesy over my children and those of you watching me. Where I have reached, may that place be your beginning. Amen. Uh, what I have done, may it be your beginning. Amen. I stop the influence of any ancestral altar over your life. I silence them. I shut them up. You will not end like your mothers. You will not end like your fathers. You will not fail. You will not be deceived. You will not be disappointed. You will not be barren. You will not be barren. Amen. Any blood-sucking altar 
assigned to suck the blood mm. of generation. Mm. All because our ancestors covenanted with altars that are interested in blood. May that altar be silent. Amen. You are free. Amen. You are free. Amen. You are free. Amen. Now take your communion. Take your communion. Madabosh kahado Jesus takaba. Me kolabra. I have mine here, and I don't want parasites. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Ha. Oh yeah. Oh young man when he I'm not it. Oh yeah. Oh young man when he magic yeah. Oh my oh my when he oh young man when he oh the blood we are saved by the sprinkling of the blood he said to his people my darling if you don't have the blood in your wine use water mm. if you don't have water use cook mm. if you don't have cook put my water down <laughs> if you don't have cook use Fanta mm. if you whatever you have that is not a pew. That is not. Je no koni ba holding down ya chuan in kogbina. She need ni ba hele bo shiye ye hoa hiwalena. Now take your wine. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. The Bible says when the blood from his side touched the ground. Those of you who don't have, go and look for caps and whatever and come and get your distributed wine. He says. When the blood touched the ground, even the dead in the Lord, in other words, the blessings released to the people of God came back alive. Mm -hmm. Can I tell you something? After tonight, I know. Somebody just called me. If you care to know, from here, I'm going for an all night. But you are so important to me that this has to be done now. It has to be done now. Oh, some of you, your phones will start ringing. And people who should have called you since will start calling you. People who promised loving you that the altars stopped them from. People who promised being there for you. I remember one time this gentleman was so much in love with my ministry, said, Daddy, I'll do this, I'll do that, I'll do this, I'll do that. All of a sudden, I'll call, he wouldn't pick. I was praying one night and the Lord said to me, Sam, 